Hey everybody, today we're going to talk about acrylic gels. So what is a gel? A gel is basically a acrylic polymer without the pigment. So you can kind of think of it as clear acrylics paint or colorless acrylic paint. So opening this up, you can kind of see uh, it looks like a clear acrylic paint. Uh, it has a white look to it, but when it dries, it's going to dry to a transparent, hazy, clear look. So adding this to other paint, acrylic paints, um, that has pigment to it, it is going to only increase the amount of paint that you have. Um, sometimes you have to watch out on the amount that you use because you're increasing the acrylic polymer without increasing the amount of pigment that you have in that amount of paint. So sometimes it can dry a little bit, uh, a little uh, clearer than you want to. So that's just experimenting um, and getting a feel for um, acrylic gels. So let's check out this acrylic gel, the regular acrylic gel, and you can see how it flows just like regular acrylics. If we add the cadmium red to it, right, we add a small amount of cadmium red right there, and we just scoop it into the gel, you can kind of see the color changing. So now we have more cadmium red to work with. It's a little bit faded, more clear, a little lighter, but that's because we're adding more polymer, acrylic polymer, without adding more pigment. So it's great if you just want to lay down shapes or just do some blocking at the beginning stages of a painting and then come back with the regular acrylics out of the tube. What are the other reasons why somebody would want to use gels? Well, you can add texture or take away texture. So if I'm working with fluid acrylics, fluid acrylics are exactly what they say. They're really fluid. They have a watery feel to it. I use this a lot for illustration. It's hard to use with a palette knife, but if I go to this extra heavy gel, you can see how thick that is. It's really thick. So if I want to add texture to this uh, red fluid acrylics, I'll add extra heavy gel to it. And you can kind of see that it's giving it more texture. Now I can paint and if I want to leave texture or add texture to a painting, maybe I'm doing roses and I want the roses to stick out a little bit to give it a 3D fill and I only have fluid acrylics, I can add extra heavy body gels and give it texture. Look at that. Now it looks like it came straight out the tube of heavy body paints. Also, you can take away a little bit of texture with the soft gel. So the soft gel, basically, just like the heavy body, or the heavy, extra heavy gel, and the regular gel, you're adding acrylic polymer, but this acrylic polymer is more fluid. So if I have heavy body paint, right? I have heavy body paint, this red, and I wanna take out some of the texture and increase the amount of paint that I have. I'll just add the soft gel. Now, it flows a little bit better. That's a really nice flow to it now. And yet some more. I want it real fluid. So 
now that you know a little bit more about gels, I think you need to go out there and experiment. Uh, go to your local art store, just pick up a small amount and just use that. Um, you never know if you like it or not. Um, you, like I said, you can increase the amount or you can change the texture of the paint that you're using. Um, so just go out there and experiment. Um, I think that's the key to being a success, successful artist, is just experimentation. Hey everybody, today we're gonna to talk about acrylic gels. So what is a gel? A gel is basically a acrylic polymer without the pigment. So you can kind of think of it as clear acrylics paint or colorless acrylic paint. So opening this up, you can kind of see uh, it looks like a clear acrylic paint. Uh, it has a white look to it, but when it dries, it's gonna to dry to a transparent, hazy, clear look. So 